Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we're doing our best to social distance. We're out here in the middle of a farm, getting ready to catch some big old turtles. Now, a lot of you guys just saw the video I did earlier this week where I took Aria and Emma and set some hooks, but all we caught was one little turtle. But that got my mouth watering, and I was like, you know what? We're gonna go catch some bigger ones because I wanna cook soft shell turtle. Now, these are my two buddies right here, Casey and Braden, and uh, we're out here. Got some salt pork. It's best if you use the salt pork that is not sliced already. That is the skin. That's what we're after. Piece of skin, and we're just gonna... That is exactly what we're looking for. And you are ready to fish. All right, got our bait going in the water. Put it at an angle, just like that. And then put this down at ground level, never pull it out. Let's keep fishing, y'all. See that? That's where an alligator just crawled over and went in, the, went in the water right here. The gator actually came up here. Came, he was going this way. I can see his tracks going like that. He gets to right here and decides, no, I don't want to go that way. So he comes this way. Now, let me, here, that's a perfect track. That's his, that's the, that's his, the palm of his foot. That's his three main toes. He gets to right here, slides into the water. Oh, there you go. Winner, winner, we got a turtle for dinner. We've put out seven baits now. Now I'm gonna take my binoculars and try to find a big one and go spot and stalk them. Hey, looks like we got one. What you got on there? Oh, you got a little softy. Pull him up here. Just a wee little guy. Okay, cool. See, we use barbless hooks. He will literally regurgitate this hook in five minutes. There you go. All right, we're looking for a good one, not a little one. Checked our first bait. We got one little turtle. Let him go. Now all we got to do is just ride around the circle. You don't even check the bait, you just look. If you've got one, pull them in. If not, keep rolling. Oh, we got one. Pull him up here. Dang, that's a good one right there. That's a good size eating turtle. But, I got all you yahoos around here. I think we should let him go and catch one a little bit bigger. Get over there. All right. Hey, this seems to be a hot spot. We've caught two here. And uh, I don't know. I want to catch a really big one. All right, round two. Oh, look at the size of that one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, go easy yes, on him. Go easy on him. Now, that joker bites a hold of you, you're gonna know something, okay? <laughs> wow. Oh, wow, he is really smart. Are you losing? No, I'm not losing. That's a gigantic one. You're doing worse than me with my fish. Come on, Casey, come get him. Get these two fish. Get him? Come on. All right, let's go. Yeah! Dude, that's what I'm talking about. That's a big Let's bring one. it back here. Hold up. Get that bullet out of the water. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is, I'll cut that loose. Got a cooler full of ice here. We're gonna throw them in there. Now, a reptile's blood is like jello. If jello's warm, it flows real easy. If the jello gets cold, it coagulates. 
you could literally freeze this turtle, freeze him, he would be totally dead. As he heats up, he would come right back to life. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let that ice slowly chill him out. It's totally dark, slowly chill him out, then we'll humanely dispatch him. Oh, wait a second, bro. Wait a sec. Joe, Joe! <laughs> Not a giant. Got him. Look at the alligator right there. Oh, it's just a wee little guy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way, that's so sick. That alligator just smashed him. That's crazy. Oh, no way. What do you think about that? That was so Dope. Like it came in just shoom, boom, thousand miles an hour. And it's funny because you think the alligator's just trying to grab him. No, he specifically grabbed him by the head and killed him. Now he's just sitting over there, I guess, waiting for us to leave so he can eat him. That's enough action for one day, right there. I can't believe that. I've never seen a turtle get eaten by an alligator most less a turtle that were catchy. So, and it was just that date gator came ripping in there so fast and smashed him. That was insane. But, uh, all right, let's go clean these suckers. So see how this turtle, he actually burrowed himself down in the ice. And that ice slowed him down like just, he's still perfectly alive, but totally slowed down. It appears this is a big female that has eggs. And you know what? Last thing I want to do is kill a female with eggs. Even if I will be eating it. Go ahead. There she goes. Now, you can actually see her right here. She'll find some sunny area. She'll get up. She'll sun. She'll be just fine. That's, uh, that's the name of the game. After you take like a 22, dispatch the turtle. You want to hang him up so he bleeds out good. As he warms up, all that blood will come out. Then we're going to clean him. Just like alligators and swordfish, these jokers live down in the mud. And so we want to really wash them up as good as possible on the front and the back. And these are reptiles, so they will have a large amount of nerve reflex. Soft shell turtle. The back of his shell is very flexible, like, like leather. You just come around this edge here. Now I promise you, this turtle is in fact dead. He doesn't have a head and is fully incapacitated. It was immediate and that's just the way it is. See how you come around the bottom? You can get all of this skin while the while the quarters are still attached, and that keeps them from wiggling around so much. Yeah. What are you doing, honey? What do you have right that? Pop that joint. Go. Now once you have your quarter out, you want to make sure that you cut all the fat off of this. I don't know why it is, but things like alligators and turtles and whatnot. Snapping turtles! 
Yeah, snapping turtles. Dad, I can put it in my truck and I'll bring it up there. You're going to put it in your truck and take it home? Yeah. All right, well, we'll do that. Now, i got to clean out the front. When you're cutting out the hind quarter, you do it from the bottom up. When you do the front quarter, you do it from the top down. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing on this side and get this front quarter out. It's already skinned. There you go. Go, Dad. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Take out that front quarter here. Now, that's everything. So let me explain this to you. That's the neck, great. You always want to cut off all the fat, all the, all the waste. And I know like beef fat is great. I love to eat beef fat. Thank you, sweetheart. You do not want to eat turtle fat or alligator fat. A lot of times when I'm doing this, I'll bring a little colander out. Put it in there, get in all that meat. You probably noticed, even cleaning that turtle, no blood. Just nice, healthy meat. <laughs> Go show mom. Sweet Vidalia onion, four cloves of garlic, and ginger. Good amount of ginger. Make it start falling in love. And what that's going to do is that's going to really flavor this all up. Take some of this meat. About that much. We're going to throw it right in there. We're going to take some salt pepper, and Everglades, Everglades original. I know that looks like a lot, but that's going to be the season for the entire dish. Want it to be nice and hot? Turn on your, your fan so you don't smoke out your house. We've got four eggs. We're gonna throw that right in here. Let that start cooking. Take this right here and just, just let it start breaking up. Gotta make the magic happen. We were trying to conserve. This is some leftover rice from last night that we put in the refrigerator. We're gonna throw that all right in there. Take this thing, start breaking it up. Now we're gonna take our egg, throw that right in there. We're gonna do just a little bit of soy. Just right around here. Last but not least, we've got some fresh chopped basil. Got to see my buddy Joey Haluska. 
And now, I get to see what the boys think of their first time eating fresh turtle. Isn't that crazy? You like it. It's it's good. good. It's good? It's not fishy yeah. at all. So the other day she ate crab for the first time and it was kind of weird because she's only three so she's getting to feel the texture. Emma is garbage disposal. We can put anything in front of that child she's going to eat it. Aria has to feel it out for herself. Like if you were to put this in front of me without telling me what it was, I'd never expect it to be a turtle. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And you know what? People all the time think, oh, why do you go out and do that? I don't do this because it's weird or because it's going to get shock and awe factor. I do it because it's really stinking good. And this is a great way to go out and spend the day and have fun and have a great meal at the end of it. So, worked out perfect. The girls are happy. I'm happy. The boys are happy. Jordan's hungry and he's filming. So, that's all I got for you. Take care. God bless. Are you? Tell them. We go. Oh. We go.